everybody, it's Raquel from Will Work for Product with a, another video. In this video, I wanted to share with you everything I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. Also, I grabbed some things from Ulta because they sent a 20% off coupon, so um, obviously that was better than the 15% off that Sephora had. And really, I picked up a lot of this stuff from a couple of different places. You can find all this stuff at Sephora, but I just want to encourage you to do your research when shopping. Sometimes other companies offer better deals. I know HSN has really great deals. QVC offers a lot of the same beauty products that you can find at Sephora and sometimes they offer six easy payments and different specials and sets. So I just want to encourage you to check out other retailers because sometimes you'll find that you can get a better deal there than the Sephora um, VIB sale. So the first thing I want to show you are some samples that I picked up because I'm really excited about these. Um, these two samples came from Ulta and this is the Tatcha the Silk Canvas which I'm sure you've heard about. It's that primer that costs $52. Well, I thought it was great to be able to pick this up as a sample before I purchased it because that is a lot of money for a primer. So I'm glad I have this. And then another sample I got is from Drunk Elephant. This is their Sea Tango, C -tango sorry, multivitamin eye cream. And it's just in this small little size. So Sephora was offering this if you spent $35 and there was a set that I was worried that was going to sell out before it was my turn to shop the VIB sale because I'm a VIB, I'm not a VIB Rouge. So I ordered it, got my samples, and then when the sale hit that um, set was still available in my local Sephora. So I was able to swap it out and still get my 15% off. So happy to try these and see if they're really worth the money because these products get a lot of hype and they're very expensive. So the next sample I have to share with you comes from Ulta. Ulta will run something called a beauty break. This typically happens on a Wednesday and it runs from like mid-morning 10 to 2 or 10 to 4 central time. Um, they will send you an email. They'll let you know what it is and how much you need to spend to qualify for it. So I knew with what I wanted to pick up from Ulta with the 20% off, I was going to qualify for it. So I was just waiting for the email for them to say what their beauty break was. And I encourage you to do this. If you know that you are going to spend the money and you're not worried about the items selling out, which the items I wanted did not sell out, go ahead and get a free gift. You're spending the money anyway. So I believe they said that this gift retails for $47. It was all full size Ulta products. And I have a detoxifying Epsom salt lavender bath bomb, full size, a Ulta mascara that says twisted volume, two Ulta eyeshadow. I also got a free mask from Ulta. This is a clarifying honey. It says it's pore cleansing honey extract, skin smoothing vitamin E, skin balancing olive oil. And the last item that I got for free, just for making an order I was planning to do anyway, is the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oils. Okay, so those are all the freebies I received. Let's talk about the products I picked up. I only picked up two skincare items because I have a ton of skincare, so I really didn't need anything. Um, I plan on doing a bigger skincare haul in the fall when they have all those great sets. But one thing I definitely wanted comes from Cora's, and this is their Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream cleanser. I received a sample of this in one of my Sephora orders and really did love it a lot. So I picked this up. And the last skincare item I picked up comes from Tarte. This is their knockout tingling treatment. And this has gotten really great reviews. It says it is formulated to exfoliate, balance, and minimize appearance of pores. I have not used this yet, but I heard that it burns like a mother. So um, I plan on using this tonight and testing this out and seeing how I like it. Let's get into the makeup I hauled. I really wanted the lashes from Huda Beauty, the Samantha lashes, but they were sold out. So I started looking at some other lashes and I stumbled upon these from the Sephora collection and they were half the price. Plus, I got 15% off, so I thought that was a good deal. And these are the Audacious number 21s from the Sephora collection. And I thought that these were really pretty because they're fuller in the middle and then they're lighter on like the inner corner and on the edges. So you get that fullness, which I really like volume in my lashes. And they were only 10 bucks, so 
10 bucks versus the 20 bucks that I was willing to spend. I thought that that was a really great deal and I can't wait to try these on my eyelashes. I picked up one blush palette. I actually got this from Ulta instead of Sephora because hey, I was getting 20% off, plus Ulta was doing five times the points on NARS. And this is the Narcissus Wanted to Blush Palette. Look at that box, the box is gorgeous. And here is how it looks outside of the box and let me open it up so you can see it but i've been eyeing this blush palette for over a month and i just decided to go ahead and pick it up i really do like nars's blushes look at that gorgeous they do have a wanted one um, blush palette and those have lighter colors so if you are of a lighter skin tone than I am that might be a better match for you but I just thought that this was really really pretty and I really wanted it in my collection and I don't plan on buying blush anymore for the rest of the year because I have a ton and don't need it so I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> So I'm really trying to make smarter, wiser makeup purchases because I find myself um, cleaning out makeup, selling it, buying new makeup, then I have to clean it out again and sell it. So I really want to enjoy and use the makeup I have. So I decided to only get one eyeshadow palette and I decided to pick up the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. I actually picked this up from Beautylish because during the holidays they ran a promotion and I had a $20 gift card. So that again is better than 20% and it's better than 15%. So I got this palette for 25 bucks, which I thought was a really great deal. It's a gorgeous palette. I was considering getting the Pat McGrath palette, but I really don't need it. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just get this one with these beautiful colors and not worry about the Pat McGrath one. That one, you get six shades for 55 bucks and it looks gorgeous and everyone says how great the palette is, but I'm really trying to be smarter about my beauty purchases. So I just went with this one and I think I'm going to be very happy with it. The next item I picked up was the item I thought was going to sell out and it did sell out online, but luckily I was able to get it in store and work out that discount. And it comes from Too Faced. This is the Sex on the Peach set. Too Faced in these names, I tell you, but this is the set. This costs $45, but this mattifying perfect peach um, powder and the better than sex mascara would cost you 55 so it's 45 dollars plus you get the 15 percent off i thought that that was a really great deal and i've been really wanting to try this powder you also get a deluxe size of the cooling matte primer and the mattifying setting spray and i wish more companies would do kits like this just so you can try everything in the line in a more affordable manner. I think that would be really great. So I'm glad to have this. From Becca, I picked up the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. Summer's coming up and I don't want to be a grease ball. So I want to make sure I stay nice and matte. And this has gotten really great reviews. So I can't wait to start using this primer. So I picked up two foundations during the sale. The first one comes from Becca. This is their Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I picked it up in the shade Bamboo. It's what I'm wearing right now. I got a sample of this and been testing it out and have really been impressed by it. They have since changed the packaging and I think they've changed the name on this. So I might, dropped it, I'm back. Okay, so I might go and try to see if I can get the newer version of this. I don't know if they're going to give me any problems, but the new packaging I believe is glass. So you'll be able to see how much you have. And I really would prefer that over this. So I'm going to go to Ulta and see what we can do about that. And the second foundation I picked up is from Cover FX. It's their Power Play Foundation, another foundation I heard a lot of great things about. It'll keep you nice and matte. I picked it up in the shade G70. Uh, I think that this will be a really great match for me, so I can't wait to play with this. 
So the last products I have to share with you are all lippies. I tried not to go too crazy with lippies because if you saw my last video, that was the review of the ColourPop New Theory Lip Kit. I'd already picked up six, plus I had gotten a lip gloss in that order that I did not show. So I really didn't need any lip products because I had added six more to my collection, but I did pick up a few. I picked up the Sephora, what are you called? the Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade Rosewood. I was watching Andrea Renee's video and she recommended this color. I think it's like a brownie nude and I really like this shade. Let me see if I can swatch it for you. So I thought that that was a really pretty color. And plus Sephora brand is affordable. So when you're in Sephora, don't sleep on their brand. They make really great products. And I love the way that this glides on the lip and that color is really pretty. So I wanted to pick this up and I did. I picked up two of the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Patent Lip Lacquer. I picked them up in the shade Bay in IRL. I thought that these were really pretty colors. I've been really into a nude gloss look. Um, I like color on my lips when it's a lipstick, but I think there's something really pretty about a nude gloss. So these are both nudes. One's a peachier nude. So this is Bay, and Bay is peachier. Hopefully you can see that. But that's a peachier nude. And then I have IRL, which is a little bit more pinky. And I think that these colors are really pretty. I plan on doing a blog post on these so you can see how those look on the lips. So I'm not sure you are going to willworkforproduct.com if you're interested in seeing these. The last product in this haul I have to share with you comes from Laneige. This is their lip sleeping mask everybody and i do mean everybody <laughs> was talking about this lip mask and since i am a lip product junkie i wanted to try it so this is how it looks outside of its packaging i think it's really pretty um, you get 0.7 ounces of product it's a nice size and it has a slight sweet scent yeah like a slight fruity scent it smells good so I can't wait to use this and see how it works because a lot of people rave about this. So I plan on incorporating this when I'm doing my nighttime skincare routine. Put this on my lips. It does come with a little scooper, little spatula, which I think is nice. So you don't have to like dig your hand up in there because that would be gross. So <laughs> I'm glad it comes with that and I can't wait to give this a try. I think this will last a nice while, at least to the next um, VIB sale. Well, that completes this haul. Hopefully you were able to pick up some goodies uh, from the Ulta sale and also from the Sephora sale. I'd love to hear what you picked up. Leave all that down below. I thank you for taking the time out to watch and I would love for you to be part of the Will Work for Product family. I'm here, open arms. Come on, be a part of the family. <laughs> so make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me to have you part of the family and to have your support. So thank you again for taking the time out to watch. I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Love you all. Bye guys.